click on the bell. Once the bell is clicked, you will get all notification. Thank you. Hello everyone, please welcome and join me in Sub's Cooking. Today I'm going to share with you Brussels sprouts. It's very tasty and very delicious. You must be wondering when you go to the store and you always look those small little cabbages and you say, what are these? After watching today's video, many people will try these. As a vegetarian dish, this is one of the best vegetable. I have shown other day how to cook in oven. Please check out that video. Today I'm going to share this vegetable with paneer and it's going to be tasty and delicious. Next time you go to grocery store, please don't forget to pick up these. It's called Brussels sprouts and they are very tasty. Not sure if we do get this one back home, back in India, but um, if you do get it, then these are very tasty. So without wasting any time, let's start with the ingredients. These are the Brussels sprouts. I'm going to use one pound of Brussels sprout. What I have done, I cut it into half. You can keep it as is, that's no issue. But only the reason I'm doing it, when you cut it in half and when we're going to cook it, it's going to taste more better. They're going to be more crunchier and they really taste well. Other ingredients I'm going to use, half cup paneer, I cut it into small pieces. I'm going to use uh, one red onion and I cut it into big chunks, like a paneer size. We're going to keep our onion fresh into this vegetable. Fresh garlic and fresh ginger. It will be one teaspoon each and uh, one green serrano chili. One teaspoon cumin seed. Coriander powder, garam masala, one teaspoon each. Black pepper and salt to taste. And I'm using it half teaspoon each. For our tadka, I'm going to use olive oil. And let's start with tadka. Get a fry pan and I'm going to start gas. I'm going to use olive oil. You can use any vegetable oil. And I'm using it one tablespoon. I'll bring cumin seed, jeera. As the oil start to heat up. I'll bring garlic, I'll bring ginger, mix it, cook it like 30 seconds. Now I'm going to bring onions, mix it well. Cooking our onion for one minute, I'm going to bring green chili. So we're going to keep our onion fresh. Cooking our onion for two minutes. This is what we need. We don't need to cook our onion. It's going to cook with our vegetable. And I'm going to bring Brussels sprouts. And we're going to mix it well. After mixing it well, I haven't added any spices. I'm going to bring the temperature to medium and I'm going to cover with the lid and we're going to cook it for five minutes. After two, three minutes, I'm going to come back and stir it once, then we're going to let it sit. And after five minutes, it's going to be really tender. Then we will add all the spices and the paneer. Then we're going to cook it on a high gas and it will be, become more crispier. I'll mix it. It's looking good. As you can see, the Brussels sprouts, they change the color. And they're tender. And now we're going to bring all the spices. I'll bring garam masala, black pepper, grinder powder, salt, and we're going to bring paneer. Mix it well. So now I'm going to bring the gas on a high. And we're going to cook it. All the spices along with our Brussels sprout and cheese. 
for just a couple of minutes. Our sabji is well cooked. I cooked it additional two minutes after adding the spices and cheese. Now I'm going to turn up the gas. It's looking so delicious. And I'm going to dish out. I get my serving bowl. Wow. It's so tasty. And I'm going to share with you. It's a quick and easy recipe. Brussels sprouts with the paneer is all ready. And it's very tasty. You can serve with the roti, chapati, or even uh, you can uh, eat it as appetizers. This is very delicious. Please try it. And especially it's going to be suitable with the rice plough. And I'm going to taste it. This vegetable is very delicious. As I mentioned earlier, the Brussels sprouts are not really found off in our Indian cooking. But please try and you're going to like it. I'm going to try Brussels sprout. Mm. So good. Another Brussels sprout with the cheese. Mm. Super tasty. It's super yummy. Please try it and you're going to like it. Like always. Please like, share and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. And if you haven't subscribed, please click on the bell so you will get the notification. Thank you. Bye-bye.